Hello, welcome to the Flute 360 podcast, where we incorporate a panoramic view of flute related topics. I am your host, Heidi K. Begay, and this is episode 153 Podcasting, an Entrepreneurial Opportunity for the Modern Day Musician, Part 2. Hey guys, welcome back to another Flute 360 podcast episode. If you have not checked out episode 152, all about podcasting and the logistics of podcasting, check it out. It went out yesterday and it's about 20, 25 minutes, so not too bad. Today is a continuation of said topic. So in episode 152, I talked about equipment, the podcast's theme, and more. Today, I'm talking about the benefits of podcasting. I hope you enjoy. Now I want to hop into the benefits of podcasting. The benefits of podcasting are literally endless, from it being cost-effective to being convenient to both the host and to the listener. But aside from being cost-effective and convenient, I want to focus in on how podcasting can be a great tool for music educators and performers. Since we all share that hat of being an educator and or a student or a performer in our music community, I think that this information is going to serve you well. Like I said earlier, for a certain season, it was a great CV building tool. You know, most people who go into academia positions, they need to have a section on their CV that highlights creative projects. Well, your podcast can fit the bill. And if you built your own podcast, it can be a great tool for your studio or your music classroom. You can utilize your episodes as supplemental material for your students. Think of how many times as educators we notice that we are presenting the same concept over and over again, right? So say we are very passionate about how to produce a beautiful, full, resonant flute tone. Instead of always presenting the same idea, why don't you purge the information into episodes one, two, and three, and of course, work with your students in the one-hour lesson. That in-person interaction is vital to their development. But if they need a little bit more something to go home with, you can refer them to episodes one, two, and three. And then you know you have extra supplemental information going home with them that could really improve that area of their playing. You can create a podcast assignment for your students. I have done this in the past and students love hearing their voice on air. They get to learn about the creative process and so many skill sets, both as a musician and non-musical skill sets, are enhanced, like cultivating the individual's unique voice, enhancing their creativity. Their written and oral communication skills will skyrocket. Their use of technology, their use of audio-video editing tools, like I mentioned earlier, all of the trims and cuts and fade-ins and fade-outs through GarageBand or Pro Tools or Audacity, that can do wonders for their development going into their music career. Marketing, entrepreneurial skill sets get elevated, and the list goes on and on. So that is one tool that you can bring into your music classroom or studio And your students would be so pumped to get their hands on a podcast if you assigned it to them. Podcasting can be great for performers, too. I would love to see podcasting musicians put together concert series or start commissioning composers to write 
new and innovative compositions to our flute library. I would love to see also perhaps, you know, oral versions of performance guides. There are a lot of notable flute magazines out there, and we read about, you know, the Hugh fantasy, and then we see a clip of the manuscript in the article, right? How cool would it be to bring that more to life? Talk about the Hugh fantasy, but then play and demonstrate through your voice, your flute, the piano, that excerpt instead of just reading it. And so to bring it full circle, I want to wrap up today's content and leave you with this nugget. And that is that podcasting, you know, business aside, it's all about relationships. You get to share your ideas through the music community and start fostering those beautiful relationships from an organic place. By creating content, throwing in your unique personality and your unique personal experiences, the show comes to life. People are drawn to you. People are just flocking to you because they really feel like you are their best friend. (laughs) Seriously. And just think of what amazing doors that can open for you and for them. Start a conversation. Start a dialogue. I've said this over and over again, and I don't mean to be a broken record, but it's one of my life's mantras. From those dialogues, you are interacting with your tribe, right? And from that interaction, inspiration unfolds. Hands down, every time you can take me to the bank with that statement, And I believe it 110%. From these relationships, organic opportunities start to unfold. This is where I never thought that Flute 360 would be where it is today. So from just picking up the phone and saying, hey, Kathy Blocky, I would love to pick your brain. Months later, she's asking me to be a part of her Kinder Flute teacher training program right? And helping market the class. And then a little bit later, she's asking me to edit her flute zoo book. Then next thing you know, she's asking Eric to help her worker to master her flute zoo CD. And the list goes on and on. And so it's not just Kathy Blocky, but I highlight her because she has become a great mentor and friend of mine. And I promise you that relationship and those opportunities would have never, ever happened if Flute 360 was not a thing. Other opportunities that have unfolded because of the podcast is the fact that I get to create PDFs where it focuses on flute pedagogy topics, uh, flute literature, flute tone, articulation, I've been able to design some remote classes and sell those. Also being asked to be a guest artist at some colleges and universities, being a presenter, an adjudicator through different festivals and different summits. Also being asked to be a masterclass clinician and a creative consultant. All these different hats I wear and I have worn before the podcast But because of Flute360, those roles were amplified and highlighted even more to the umpteenth degree because the platform is shooting out this content on a daily, weekly basis to all four corners of the globe. How amazing could this be for you? I'm talking about my experience. Yes, I'm talking about being a podcasting musician, but I'm bringing this to showcase that there is proof in the pudding. If I can do it, so can you. And of course, I can't, you know, promise you thousands and millions of dollars right off the bat. It takes time, just like with anything. 
If you plant your seed now and water it, give it some sun and some love, over time, it's going to blossom into this beautiful rose, flower, tree, or whatever you planted. And then you get to reap your harvest, right? So if you are in a slump right now and you're thinking, man, this pandemic has really got me into the blues. I still don't know what I'm doing as a musician. This could be one path for you. What can a podcast do for you and your business? And just to bring it back, to scale it back one step, I don't want to leave you with, you know, go out there and knock on doors to bother people to pay you money. It's not about that. It's about building those authentic, genuine relationships. And from there, organic opportunities unfold. So when you reach out to these people, don't network in a sleazy way. Not that you would, but it's just a friendly, loving nugget that I want to offer you because people can smell that from a mile away. But if you come to them from an authentic position and think to yourself, you know, how can there be a win-win here? then great things are going to unfold. So I hope this information has helped you. I hope that it has opened a new door for you, a new pathway of possibilities for you and for your career. If you want to pick my brain about podcasting or another creative project, I am here for you. I am shouting it from the rooftops. I want to be your cheerleader and I want to be your soundboard. Pick my brain. And if I don't know the answer, I will track it down. <laughs> I will ask anybody and everybody to help serve you. And you can take my word on that. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And until next time, thank you for listening to today's episode. If you want to learn more about podcasting and what it can do for your music business, feel free to email me at HeidiKBegay at gmail.com. That's H-E-I-D-I-K-A-Y-B-E-G-A-Y at gmail.com. Below in the show notes, I have provided my Calendly link. Utilize this tool to schedule a 15-minute call with me so you can pick my brain and I can hear all about your dreams, aspirations, and any pain points that you may have. I look forward to talking with you soon. Thanks. Thank you for listening to the Flute 360 podcast. Please subscribe to the Flute 360 newsletter by going to HeidiKBegay.com. A pop-up will appear and you can enter in your information for the weekly newsletter. The newsletter includes great incentives, updates, and perks to the subscribers. Go ahead to HeidiKBegay.com and sign up today. Thank you. Let's talk about flute.